Alright, sup everybody, welcome back to the Path of Rage. Today we are doing something new. I am trying out a new game, a different type of vibe. I've played this a couple times before. This is Cycle uh, the Frontier, or the Cycle Frontier, I think it's called. Uh, this is a free to play extraction based uh, title, similar to uh, Escape from Tarkov, stuff like that. It's basically one giant map that's shared by all. Uh, players, <clears throat> excuse me, you drop in, you complete quests, you compete against each other or help each other if you want, but there's, this is open PvP, if you come across another player, they can and will kill you, and everything you gain in here, like all of the resources you pick up, the gear that you bring with you into the machine, whoa, we got some real weird shit going on there with our graphics, uh, everything you bring with you, into uh, the map you lose as well I've done a I think three three of the missions four of the missions something like that just to kind of get a vibe for it but now we're going to continue on um, these are the yeah see I, I finished two different missions I'm very much at the beginning of this these are the quests that we have to do um, this is all of our inventory. You get a lot of this stuff at the beginning. You pick up a lot of stuff. But you have to put on a backpack. We're going to do all that right now. Put on a backpack. I'm going to take some armor. Um, green is obviously better than basic, but I'm still new at the game, so I don't want to waste too much. I'm going to take a shotgun with, there we go, with 44 rounds. I'm only going to take the one gun. I'm going to take a helmet, basic helmet. Consumables. I'm going to take both of those. And you know what? That That's good enough right now. Because we're going to try to avoid combat a bit. The, the good thing about this game is there's no time limit. At least that I've been able to determine. So you can... Uh, go onto the map as long as you don't get caught up by the storm and you can find shelter from that uh, go onto the map do your your uh, quests and, and searches for items and materials and all that kind of stuff and avoid players get into combat all everything like that without being worried about a time frame so we're just gonna play uh, some missions here and see what comes to pass uh, we don't have anything to get right now and we have to we have an apartment as well that you can end up upgrading let's go there see if i have any upgrades i can do no okay see so right now i've got supply crate upgrade <coughs> excuse me um i've got the i don't have the rm generator and that's this here for for buying you know, cosmetics and whatnot. This is the uh, well the RM generator rate. Okay, so they're put together, and then this is the K marks, which is your money. Um, and in order to upgrade these or to to actually build them in the first place, I need these different components to craft them with. Same thing with upgrades to your inventory and all that. So we're going to check our deliveries and see what we got. And then we've already got our gear ready. We're see, 0.42 our room per hour. Big deal. I got a supply crate, which gives me a bunch of gear, basic gear. Uh, insurance package. This, this here is, is you'll see when we jump into a map. Uh, you can choose to insure uh, the, the the sum of the gear that you take with you, and if you you die and lose it, you'll get a percentage or a certain amount of it back in currency there's also one i think that you have a chance a lower chance but uh, a chance to get the items back all right so hopefully you guys enjoy this uh gameplay and, and we'll see what we have to see unfortunately you can't choose where you're gonna land <clears throat> as you can see i haven't unlocked any of these this apparently is the brand new area uh Tharos Island, you have to be leveled to get there. So we're going to start at the new thing. Um, let's try the salvageable items. When you do this, what does this cost? Oh, 
Oh no, that costs arm. Never mind. You get a lot more of the K marks than you do Aurum. Aurum I want to keep because if I want to ever buy a skin or something like that, if I like the game enough, that'll be the way to do it. So there we go. Those things are insured. And off we go. When you pick up uh, the items that you're looking for or even just the ones you find, if you certainly want to save them when you die, you have safe pockets. You put certain things of certain weights in there and then they won't. you won't lose them. I'm gonna keep the sound up. Shotgun, where are we? Damn it. Well, we're gonna go to the, the swamp. We also have to go to Bright Sands. All right, so here we are here. This is an extraction point, so is this one. So I'm gonna make my way down this way. <clears throat> Maybe go to the lagoon and up, we'll see. It all depends on what you find. You have to keep your eyes, your ears peeled though too. Everything makes noise. And the... I thought I heard someone. The vast majority of players I've run into, so don't out there, uh, shoot first and ask questions later. Even if they weren't jumping in for PvP, someone else showing up will make them go for it. Somebody over there kicked them off, unless, unless that was me. And when you run in this game, whoop, don't want to go that way. When you run in this game, you make a lot of noise. Crap. He's gonna see me. Yep. I, I want to run away from these guys. I don't want to fight them. This has been picked up, hasn't it? Yeah. That is an extraction ship. Are they still following me? God damn it, they are. Once I get far enough, I think they'll stop. Except that one. Now see, everybody on the server will have heard that. Now, I am looking for, what did it say, water? Water weed filaments. Those are these weird, goofy looking plants that are only in the water, but only in certain spots on the map too. has been picked clean. Whoa, we've got some... Ah, crap, the storm's coming in. I think there's filaments down here. Definitely going to make it harder to hear the enemies. Damn it. I'm not seeing water weed filaments. Oh, shit! And that's it. Never even heard him. Ah, yeah. This is a good gun, the Manticore. You can also, from what it, uh, the tutorial shows you, you can craft weapons as well. This is the thing I've got to go for right here. And I have yet to land in the lagoon. But we'll end up back on the station and we'll have to take that stuff out of the inventory again. And you could be somebody who has purple level gear. You let your guard down or you don't pay attention and someone with level one gear can t can kill you and take it all from you. There we go. So we're going to put more gear back on. Oops. Wrong button. Like that. Um, I'm going to go with the PDW. Oh, it's this one I want. That is that. You know what? That should be good enough. I've also got this here. It's a shotgun pistol. 
This is like a nail gun type thing, rapid firing. This is good too, but if anyone's any distance away from you, it's, it's not that great. Then again, I could just be a massive scrub, which is very likely the case. But, back we go. And that's the thing too, like say I had gone down and uh, found those waterweed filaments. I have to leave with them for it to count. So I could find everything I want in all of my, my quests and die just before the extraction ship leaves and everything will be gone. And I'll have to do it all over again. I'm in the jungle, Jesus. All right, well, we're gonna head to the waterfalls and the waterfall lab. Because that, that will lead me to water filaments. I'm not gonna get to the lagoon this time. I also want to find compound sheets, which may be in here somewhere. God damn it, there's a creature right there. This is the dig site I'm headed to, yeah. someone. Nope. I hear a creature around the corner here, but I did hear someone. I think that was a, there was a creature down there. Jesus! Oh, that hurt. Well, that hurt a lot. These guys are gonna kill with a knife. came into this section because I'm hoping to find the metals I need. Oh, there we go. There's obviously a puzzle to be solved with that. I'm going the wrong way. Some weird shit going on with my graphics here. Oh, there's a light. Still, that doesn't look right. <clears throat> Excuse me. First time I played this game. 
I ran. Yeah, first first time I played this game, I ran like crazy. Why can't I get through here? Okay. Uh, I ran like crazy for the extraction zone. Because I thought it was like a battle royale. If you didn't get out fast, you didn't get out. Here, combat ahead. Set it off as a distraction. Smart. No, I don't want to go that way. I gotta remember this damn um, storm is coming. Okay, uh, I guess I outran him. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, this is an area with a lot of loot, and I can find those things in here. There's one right there. One thing I am curious about. One thing I am curious about is um, if you. I know you can call in two. There's one. There was one over. Or there's one down here. I wonder if you call in the one and you miss it, or you call them both in and you miss it. If you can take another one out, or if you've screwed yourself at that point. Me. You know what? I'm gonna go up the stairs over here. I'm not gonna call the evac ship in yet. I wanna check out a couple of these buildings, see if I can get more gear to take back. Probably not. I'm not certain what the... Uh, recharge rate is for the items either. Okay, yeah, 
this this area is picked clean. We're going to call in the drop ship, which is going to land right over here. And then we'll come back in, because we'll at least finish a mission this way. One thing I wish this game had, seriously wish this game had, was um, a range where you can try out guns and, and find out what their ranges are and how they feel before you take them for the first time into the level. And then are uncertain as to how they work. And it's not even so much that you're uncertain as to uh, like how they work. You know what a gun is. You know what they do. That kind of thing. But you don't know what the characteristics of that gun are. I just hear someone coming up there. We did it. Okay. Across any players, but I get to finish the job reward and continue on. That was with Corolla, I think. No. I keep holding down the shift button, and I have uh, run to toggle. I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh, stupid. I'm gonna talk to this guy. <gasps> Prospector. How can Coral have help? Oh. Remember, always ah. choose Coral. I looked at the wrong icon. It's these guys over here. Osiris. They're the ones that you can get that good uh, machine gun at, too. Or assault rifle at, as well. It's not a machine gun. Prospector. We've updated our shop, Prospector. So now I gotta go to the swamp, hunt striders, and okay, that's a decent one to do. As long as I'm in there. And every season they wipe this, and so you start all over from the beginning again. Very well. I like it because it's it's different. I'm also gonna I might be doing on Thursdays, I might switch back and forth between this game and Shatterline and see what you guys think of both of those games if you want to keep seeing more of them that kind of thing let's put all this stuff actually into and jump straight back in oh I don't have any thing is like even though you're loading in and out fairly often like uh, depending on how long you stay in the map um, the good thing is like it's a quick load you, you don't spend a lot of time waiting in this game complete your mission or objective hang out do whatever it is you want on the map head back you complete your mission set your gear, gear up again and boom away you go again. I gotta go to the swamp and the lagoon, both of which are down at the bottom. So we're gonna. I'm gonna make my way down to this extraction point, hitting this stuff all in the way. And um, see if we can find some of the materials we need. Like, I need compound sheets. Right, that's the only material I need. Okay.
I love the fact that there's a planet up there that kind of disappears. <laughs> You'd still be able to see the outline, I would imagine. Oh, there's somebody right there. I'm pretty certain you saw me. Yep. Got the headshot. Oh! He had a sniper rifle, didn't he? Damn it. And I only did 37 damage to him. Oh well. Return to station, gear up, jump back in. I was at a terrible uh, drop point anyway. That's the one thing I wish you could do too, is uh, control where you drop. Back to that. I just gave, I just bought those and gave it to that guy. Basically. Oh, can I mod this? No compatible attachments, really. Damn it. Okay. Hopefully it'll drop me in the lagoon uh, swamp area. Oh crap. Crap crap crap. I didn't put any armor on. green armor. Oh well. I don't like using my green stuff because I died too easy so far. I think I have to get used to the map a bit more. Or not the map. I have to get used to the game a bit more before I feel comfortable using the, the higher quality gear, but it is what it is. I very rarely come across people though who are friendly. The, 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 I've even heard guys, I, I, I watched a fight yesterday in one of my, my expeditions. Two guys approached each other, I didn't say anything, and they both called out friendly, friendly over the comms, and then shot each other. So they weren't friendly. Uh, Alright, we're going to go right, we're going to check this out here first. But we're going to head to the lagoon. Striders in the bright sands. Okay. At the lagoon and in the swamp. So going after these guys here would do me no good. Somebody coming in. Somebody just ran past me. That thing not hear me. Come on, let's just go this way and head right for the lagoon. 
I want to try and get one quest done. Oh shit, that guy missed me. I'm pretty certain that there's a big creature here. I don't want to set off the creatures if I don't have to. Oh my god. That thing screeching like that didn't set off the rest. stood there like that. Okay. This is the area we want to go to, the lagoon, right? Oh shit, this way. Whoa, Jesus! Damn it, damn it! Oh my god, how did he not kill me? How did he not kill me? Yeah. Oh, Jesus! So what I have to do... I've got to get over to the lagoon area, don't I? Now, you know what? 
Okay, I've got that. I'm going to head towards the lagoon and finish that. Well, yeah, I want to... My backpack is full. I want to save my gear. It's time to start... Oh, not this way. Time to start making my way there. And obviously, if you have the bigger backpacks, you can carry more. Oh, shit. I saw you. I'm going to let him go his way. There's no point in attacking that guy because I can't take any of his gear. Speaking of. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, with my backpack full, there's oops, there's no real point. What the hell was that? Right. Uh, as I was saying, with my backpack full, there's no real point in me attacking other players at this point. I do want to vi I'll visit the Bright Sand Swamp, and I need to kill five Striders there, which are those. Uh, beasts I can hit with the knife. If I can kill a few of them and then leave, like I can take their components with me because they're already in my bag and they stack. Mm, excuse me. I still can't believe I lived. I don't know how the hell that guy didn't kill me. This gun takes forever to reload. Some loot. We're dropping some of my loot for here. Nope. Okay. Oh. oh. Somebody to my right. Some weird flickering going on in the graphics from time to time. I have got my headphone. I don't know if it's coming through in the game with how loud I have my headphones playing, but I have my sound absolutely fucking cranked right now. something not gonna lie folks the, there we go I finished that and I just gotta kill five striders there's one what is that noise Oh shit!
Where did I kill that guy? It's like right here, wasn't it? Where's his gear? There it is. Oh, I need that. Ten bucks is that guy's gonna go camp my uh, extraction point. things off that chase me forever. Got him! Oh yes, we've got to get the fuck out of here now. Dude is I, I know I'm gonna get sniped. Yes, I have been crushed by this ship. We're going to wait until it almost takes off and then run on it in the last second. Oh. I'm telling you, man, this game gets your heart pounding. I thought for sure whoever shot at me after I killed that second dude was gonna come hunt me down. Alright, let's go turn in some jobs. That was a good round. But yeah, I, I I don't bother calling friendly in the thing. I see an enemy player, they are immediately shot at by me, because otherwise you end up dying. There's too many people who are not friendly. For you to take the chance. At least that's been my experience. Ah, you're back. I had full confidence in you, of right. course. Oh. Oh, it's a skin. I might not have that actually. It keeps telling me that I've unlocked stuff in the Very Fortuna well. Pass, but it's only on the paid uh, season pass that I would get that. Yeah, see, it's locked. to inventory. I'll leave that. That I can sell. 
And now that I've left those things behind, now I only have to get one more, I think. Oh no, two more compound sheets. Hunt blast ticks and bright cap mushrooms. Cool. Uh, let me inventory. Put that in my inventory. And that, there's no point in bringing that in as well. And there we are. We're good to go for our next run. But that is for another episode. We're going to cut it off right there. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did, a thumbs down if you didn't. Let me know in the comments if this is a game you want to see more of. Um, it's going to be, it's going to, it is a different sort of game. There will be times when there's not much action and there's going to be other times where I die repeatedly and it scares the shit out of me and I get really angry. It, it's, it's a mix of the, of the both. So, uh, if you want to keep up to my videos as they come out, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And until next time, adios.